On this edition of Total OS, today we will be taking a look at the brand new Ubuntu 10.10 .10 release candidate. I will be doing a full review. I downloaded the ISO from Ubuntu today, burned it onto a CD, and I have it here on a virtual box. And this is what it looks like, which is the welcome screen. And I will be doing an install rather than the try Ubuntu option. But before I begin, those of you who follow my channel, if you recall back uh, of April 6th of this year, there was an article published. Uh, Conical founder, the maker of Ubuntu, uh, basically what he was saying was uh, Shuttleworth, Mark Shuttleworth saying that he wanted Ubuntu 10.10 .10 to be the perfect desktop when it was released. 10.10, .10. get it, perfect 10. Well, that statement was made back in April. So let's see if it lives up to that proclamation. Let's click install Ubuntu and see what happens. Now this is the release candidate like I stated. The final version should be coming out I believe October 10th. Uh, as with most release candidates, uh, this version here should have uh, very few bugs. Of course, I mean it, it is a release candidate. So, alright, let's see what we have here. Pre preparing to install Ubuntu for best results. You must have at least 2.6 gig gigabytes free drive space plugged in power source connected to the internet download updates while installing okay and instir install third party software such as the ability to play multimedia well to speed up the process I will not be downloading updates while installing or installing third party software however I will say that these two options down here is a very welcomed addition or a very welcome option to install software especially if you are a if you are a Windows user migrating to Linux or or for that matter even, even if you are a Linux u user to uh, speed up the process to have a working desktop ready to go after you do the install so let's continue click forward by the way I don't know how many uh, Microsoft uh, Xbox 360 Halo fans are out there but uh, Halo Reach rocks just finished playing it with my boy here not too long ago okay allocate drive space uh, erase and use the entire disk or specify specify partitions manually advance well uh, we will click erase and use the entire disk space to speed up the process now I am going to assume that the option to install the side-by-side uh, assuming that you had Windows installed, I'm going to assume that the install side-by-side -side option still is available in Ubuntu 10.10. .10. If it is not, then that, that would be a major, that would be a big, big mistake in my opinion. But for now, we will click Erase and use the entire disk. Click Forward and I have here allocated 5.7 gigabytes which is fine uh, if you were if you were doing a real install if it was up to me I would probably allocate a minimum of 10 probably 20 but I will not be keeping this uh, install after I'm done with the screencast so for this particular demonstration this is okay 5.7 gigabytes click install now
By the way, I was looking at the uh, I was looking at the default wallpaper here. It really hasn't changed much. Uh, I mean, the purple was is okay, but to add this orange brownish tint to it, uh, I don't know. It just it just reminds me of somebody just poop pooped on purple construction paper. Uh, I don't know what a perfect desktop wallpaper is supposed to look like but I'm pretty sure it doesn't look like this okay anyway it says here where are you well I'm not exactly in New York but that's okay I, I used to live in New York anyway click forward and as you can see here there is a little orange progress bar fuel gauge however you want to call it to let you know where you are in the installation of Ubuntu 10.10 .10 Maverick Meerkat which is fine okay the keyboard layout is USA click forward By the way, if you were installing this side by side next to Windows, I strongly recommend that you back up everything valuable on your Windows side. Uh, preferably if you have the original uh, installation restore disk for your computer just in case something goes wrong. Okay, who are you? I would. I will just type in toss today. Computer's name toss today dash virtual box. For now it's fine. Password I'll just do the simple one two three to keep it simple. One two three. And of course it says it is a short password. Click log in automatically, which is what I recommend, and click forward. So again, if you are installing this next to Windows, make sure you back up everything. Uh, this does have the option to install it using the Wubi installer. Uh, I highly recommend you try that first if you are new to Linux or Ubuntu and are not sure what you're doing. Because if you install this using Wubi, it is much, much easier to uninstall it. Uh, and by the way, using Wubi, there's less chance of something going wrong when the installer partitions the hard drive. However, even with Wubi, it is possible for something to go wrong. So even if you are using Wubi, please back up everything you have. And as you can see here at the bottom, it is copying files. Now what I'll probably wind up doing is, you know, the installation process tends to be rather boring, boring, but basically it says welcome, which is fine. Thank you for choosing Ubuntu 10.10. This version brings some exciting changes, including a new sound menu, the Shotwell photo manager, and features that make it even easier to find and install new software. These screenshots, uh, which give you something to do uh, while you are installing your brand new operating system I think is a nice touch uh, especially if you are new or even if you're not new I guess for that matter but I definitely like this as you can see here it says get free software and so on and so forth so I think you get the picture here as far as the installation process so to speed time and I'm actually waiting for a phone call I will pause the video and then I will continue a little bit later, so stick around.